Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and you guys know I love a good challenge. And today I wanted to challenge myself to use only two paint colors in a painting. Now you guys are gonna see the process in which I randomly choose these colors and then figure out all the different mixtures I can make to create a painting out of it, which is a really great skill to use a limited palette. So no more talking, let's jump in and get started. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a color challenge, a random color challenge. And as you guys can see here, I have different paint tubes. I tried to pick paint tubes that were all the same size. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to put these paint tubes into this little baggie, which is one of my kids. <laughs> and I am going to pick two colors at random and I have to use only those two colors in a painting together. Now, the only exception of me being able to pick a different color is if I pick two of the same color. So two greens or two yellows or two pinks, two blues. Okay, so if they won't mix well because they're two of the same color, then I will choose a different one for just one of them. But essentially, I just kind of want to show you that you can make tons of different colors by just mixing two colors together. Okay, maybe not tons, but you can mix a variety, which may surprise you. So the colors I have here are Permanent Rose, Cadmium Lemon, Oxide of Chromium, Sap Green, Permanent Magenta, Cadmium Scarlet, French Ultramarine, Indigo, Cadmium Yellow Pale, and Windsor Blue Red Shade. So I'm going to throw all of these into my bag. Give it a good shake. And I'm gonna pick out two at random. First one is permanent sap green. And the second is, why am I nervous? Ooh, cadmium scarlet. Okay, so we have a red and a green basically. And this is more of an orangey red. So now I'm going to have to create a painting with just these two colors. Now, before we do that, I want to show you how I can mix these colors and get different shades and hues um, just by using these two and creating a quick little color chart. Okay, so I have placed two little dabs of each color on this mixing stone and we're gonna make a quick little color chart to see how many different colors and well, hues and then shades that we can make with this, um, this color mixture. So remember, that the more water you add to a color, the lighter the value is gonna be, and then the more paint you have, the darker the value is gonna be. You'll have two different colors just by using different values. So here I'm gonna start at this end with a dark value. So I have lots of paint, and it's nice and dark, okay? And then I'm going to rinse it off a little bit, and I'm gonna create a light value right under it like that. So already we have two different values of this color that which we can use in the painting, which will give it a variety. Okay, then I'm going to go to the opposite side of the spectrum with my permanent sap green. Grab a lot of it. And I'm going to Put a dark value at the top here and then I'm going to just rinse it off a little bit and put a lighter value down here. Oops. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to do our color chart where we mix it half and half. So we want half green half of this orange to see what color we can mix in the middle. So I'm going to take half green and I'm going to mix it with this this orange and it makes brown. So I'm going to start off with the darker value in the middle, rinse it off, and then the lighter value down below. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little bit more of each color to make it kind of lean more towards that and it's gonna give us another, a different color. So I'm gonna grab more of the orange over here and it has more orange than green 
and it makes it kind of this rusty orange. All right, take some of that color off, get our lighter value here. There we go, okay? Supposed to be a lighter value. It's still kind of dark, but it's not as opaque as the other one. Okay, and then we're gonna lean more towards green. So we're gonna have just a little bit of this orange with mostly green. I'm just gonna add more after. And we have this other, here, we're gonna get a bit more green paint here. Now we have this kind of olivey green. It's this muted green, because it's mostly green, but it has a hint of that orange to it, which mutes it, which is pretty awesome. I love making this color for greenery in my paintings, okay? So then we just rinse it off a bit. And do our light value. So here, we already have five different hues that we can use in our painting, and then the lighter values of them as well. So this doesn't have to be a flat painting where you're only using two colors. You can really mix and use these values and hues to really make your painting pop. So now we're gonna give it a try. So I'm thinking, obviously, florals are my thing. So I'm gonna do just like a fun floral painting with this. So I want it to be nice and bright. So I'm gonna use this, obviously, as the color of the petals. So I'm gonna use a really nice saturated bright orange here, like so. And I'm just using my flat brush because I've been enjoying this lately. And I'm gonna wash it off a little bit to get our lighter value, to switch it up. Then I'm gonna grab our darker one here, just a little bit more green. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker at the bottom. Like so. Bring some of that darkness in there. Like that. Why not, right? Or do I wanna... Maybe I'll lift some of that color up. It's a little bit too vibrant. So I'm just taking my clean, dry-ish brush and just trying to lift up some of that color. Just for a bit of a change in there. Let's try like maybe like a little bud or something next to it. And then really lighten it up. A little bit of that brown at the bottom. Like that. I think that looks fun. Don't know what flowers these are, but we're just having fun here. <laughs> Let's do another one. Like that green, make that darker orange here. Like that. Don't love the marks that I'm getting right here. Might just add a bit more paint and go over it. Like that. And then I'm going to do a really light one right here and just add like the tiniest bit of paint. just so it's a bit softer like that. Okay, now let's get some green in there. I'm going to start with our, just our sap green and I'm just going to start pulling some stems a 
like so. Don't know why I'm using my flat brush. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna switch to my round brush here. Make it a little bit easier on myself. Okay. Like that. Then I'm just gonna have some leaves. I'm starting off with just my sap green. Maybe they're poppies, I don't know. It's kind of what I'm going for, I think. Then I'm just going to darken it by adding some of that orange. that. Just kind of darkening some of the stems. Like that. I kind of want to balance this out a bit. I'm going to have one kind of coming up. Over here. that. Okay, and then I want to do a little bit more detail on the flowers. I feel like I might have gone a little too uh, bright with our dark value for this flower, um, but let's see if we can kind of salvage it with some, you know, darker colors. I don't know, but let's wait for it to dry first. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in and just make some areas a little bit more um, sharper so I'm just gonna mix a darker orange here and I'm just gonna kind of just bring in a little bit of line work to some of them not too too much but just a little bit A little bit over here. I don't want to do too much to this one. I kind of really like how soft it is. But now I really want to make some of these centers a little bit darker. But I don't know how, if I can make them dark enough, you know, with just these two colors. So let's get mostly green, actually, just like dark value of green and orange as dark as we can go with this brown and then just really there we go there's a little bit it is darker there okay so it was more green in the mixture I like that to make it darker the orange would have brightened it up so I just added a little bit more of the green That. Maybe we can have some over here. Like that. And there we go. That's kind of it. I don't want to do too much else to it, but I mean, it just kind of goes to show you that you can definitely, you know, create a painting with just a couple colors, just two colors, right? It doesn't have to be super you know, intricate with all these different colors and all these different mixtures. Working with a limited palette, I, in my mind, is one of the greatest skills you can have as an artist, just because then you know a lot more mixtures. Um, it will help you with your color mixing when you are trying to find that, you know, that hue that you're looking for. It's just, it's such a great 
skill to have. So I definitely suggest trying this, trying it over and over again. I, if you guys like this, let me know if you want this to be maybe like a little bit of a series where I try different mixtures at random, like how we picked. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these videos and I'll catch you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.